Hi there, my name is Evan Roberts. Pianos need to be tuned at least once a year. It may well be that you want to have each piano tuned every six months. This is the best way to keep your piano in tune with the humidity shifts during the summer and during the fall and the winter where it dries out and the summer where it gets very humid. So one of the best ways to optimize your piano tuning is to have it tuned after a few weeks or a month or so after the summer started and the humidity has gone up to, to its regular amount or a month or so after it's dried out during the winter. And um, you should be turning the AC on to keep the AC on during the summer because you don't want too much fluctuation and you can't control the humidity inside your piano with a damper chase system. If you have the piano in a performance space, for instance, this one we did the other day, which is in a restaurant, you might find that you want to have the piano tuned every couple of months or every three months. Maybe three months is a good pattern. Depends how heavy the piano players are hitting the piano depends on the genre of music and also depends on the piano and the environment. Make sure the AC is not turned on and off. That's a big problem for large spaces where it's very costly to run an AC. Sometimes the AC is turned off between events. Maybe it's not the best idea to have a piano there or if it is, you want to have a piano there, maybe turn the AC up or put a damper chase system in and talk to a technician locally. If you would like to have a a special performance in that space, maybe it's time to have piano tuned before uh, every special performance. Now, if you're recording pianos and you have a studio, and if I, I do some recording as a hobby, if you want to have it very clean for the session, you need to tune a piano just before every single session. This can be very expensive if you have many, many sessions, and it could be part of the fee that you charge to the recording client. And if you're, a very, it's a very high-end session, and you want to make sure it's perfect to make sure the tuner sticks around during the session because when you whack the keys, small details can go out of tune. If you have a budget as a recording studio, one of the options I've seen some studios do is that before every album or EP, they have the piano tuned just before. So that, that is one way of keeping it clean for a while and doing all the sessions maybe at the beginning of the, of the recording project. And then as the project goes on, obviously there might be some small details go out, but it might be okay. So the key here is don't let the piano go too far out of tune. That's the thing to avoid because what happens is the string touches different tension points and it puts nodules in the string and notches in the string. And once you move the string around a lot, you have notches and the harmonics and the partials aren't exactly perfect as they could be. If you've left your piano for years and years and you're watching this video, you really do want to get your piano tuned now um, before it goes further and further flat. The more flat it goes, the further down the pitch goes, the more likely that the strings are going to break when the tune tunes it. Make sure that they lubricate properly with Protec or something similar, and make sure that um, they pull the bass strings down first and pull them up again to avoid breakages. If you have got any questions, you can put them in the comments. I'll try and respond to as many as I can. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.